just when you thought people couldn't get more fucking special. <laughs> My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and yes, that is a toilet roll on the board because this is fucking amazing. Roll the tape. So I installed my France bypass oil filter about five months ago. Uh, this oil filter is commonly referred to as the uh, toilet paper oil filter, the uh, toilet paper oil filter, the uh, toilet paper oil filter, the uh, toilet paper oil filter. Um, I'm doing some maintenance on my truck today and I thought it's a good time to get that uh, old filter out and change it out with my uh, thousand ply generic toilet paper. Okay, so we've got, again, this is the factory filter. see it looks a lot like toilet paper but it's not toilet paper dripping with autism let's throw this in the garbage so now yeah it, it's too big so I got to take some of this off of the new toilet paper come on butter fingers done studies you know 60% of the time it works every time that doesn't make sense so this is uh, another fucking load of rubbish so let's just quickly strip this apart um, what you are doing is you have an oil system and uh, diesel petrol it doesn't matter you just have an oil system Right, where you have engine this side, right, and you have sump this side, and then here you have a pump, right, and a filter. Now, yes, generally you pump through your filter and so on, just it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't really matter. <coughs> this is just a you know an idea. You have a sump, you have a pump, you have a filter, and you have an engine. Now, what this whole thing is doing is it is coming off this. And then it is having the toilet paper filter, right? So it's a bypass, it's a trickle bypass. It's not really fucking doing anything, right? So how does this thing supposedly work? Well, it's using the fine micron, um, basically the fine mesh that is the strands of basically paper cellulose um, to uh, filter out your oil so why can't it replace your filter it can't replace your filter because you would have extremely high pressure and your engine would die the reason why is as soon as your pump tries to push oil which is high viscosity even when it's hot compared to how fast a toilet paper filter can flow I can't believe it's fucking happening but yeah basically there's too much mesh basically there's too much stuff there's too much resistance so your pump will try and push the oil through it, the um, the in to the out difference is far too great, um, and that is the whole thing with fuel uh, oil pumps is that they have got to be able to keep up with the rate of flow, the flow rate, but also try and filter at the same time. Now, there's quite a few different ways you can do this. Generally, we all know about cartridge filters, um, which are basically depends what the elements are inside but you can have a, there's a few different kinds of um, filtration you can use inside. you can use meshes you can use papers you can use corrugated filters a bit like air filters and so on um, there are a few Hondas I used to have a CR I think it was a CR125 not CR was it a CLR125 real piece of shit um, again I was just literally I bought it um, from a friend I think he was just getting rid of it taxed MOT it just because I literally didn't work far live far from my work and it's just to get me over the winter it's a little winter hack 
and I had a bit of fun on it. it was a piece of shit. I think it's a CLR125 and um, years and years and years and years and years ago and that had a, a centrifugal filter so basically there was no replaceable oil filter the oil get flung out and the heavy bits they fucking you know this and the other. it does get caked up after time and you do have to fucking take it out and wash it out but um, that's a different way of doing it you know so there was no replaceable filter very cheap way um, not a bad way really but um, so what happened was is uh, yeah, so you cannot have this kind of filter, this toilet paper filter, as part of your main filter. You will have too much pressure build up behind the pump, uh, between the pump and the filter. You will fucking jam that pump up and you'll starve your engine and you'll fucking die. So, well, this is a bypass filter. I don't know exactly where it's reaching off, but it's basically just having um, some of the oil trickle off and go through this filter. Now, does this mean you get your entire system filtered? Depends how the system works. I very much doubt it because it's a trickle off. Uh, eventually over time the whole oil will go through the filter. Unless this gets saturated and there's no pressure really pushing anything through it, which I very much um, believe that there is no pressure pushing through it. I didn't look this up because it's just fucking garbage. But um, yeah, any road. So what this thing is meant to do is this is meant to catch shit. Now he goes on about carbon. But it's notoriously dirty even from production even from the the, the uh, manufacturing it's not the best oil um, what uh, lubrication specialties found was that even after running rotella through their engine a diesel engine and through their bypass oil filter it was cleaner than it came from the facility when they told me that i was all in so the normal process is just like in any other oil change. I'm going to fill up the standard oil filter. I'm going to spin it on the truck, tighten it down. I'm going to fill the truck up and then I'm going to install the kit. Now this is what most diesel oil looks like. Black as night. Oftentimes quite a bit of carbon build up in it. It doesn't matter how new your, your diesel engine is. It, this is pretty much what it looks like after you get a few miles on it. Um, carbon and that soot is really what wears out the bearings and the internal parts in, in uh, engines, especially diesel engines. And all the rest of it. Now, let's talk about what is in oil that is nasty, the reason why you have to change it. Microfine nanometer particles of steel, aluminium, copper, you know, all the things that are your bearings, basically, and your cylinder walls and your piston rings. That is what is in your oil, all right? It is, um, that is the shit that is in there that we don't want. One of the other things that's in oil that makes it go black is carbon. Generally, this is from two things. This is from your oil actually burning and degrading, and this is also from the hydrocarbons, the blow-by that you get. And the actual carbon, like I say, if you get blow-by, you get carbon that is going to blow-by your cylinders and all the rest of it. You can see it caked on the inside of your combustion chamber and in your exhaust. Some of that makes it into your actual engine. The exhaust blow-by will blow past your piston. That is basically soot. It's more of a case in diesels because of how diesel combustion occurs. Um, but that is a good indication that your oil is shit and needs changing. If you have a bike and ride it around for 20 miles or you sell it after 100 miles, you crack the oil open and go, it's still a honey, then you know that that oil is good. It is new. You don't have to change it. If you crack it up, it comes out black and it stinks of petrol, you're like, well, that needs to fucking go. You know what I mean? The thing is, as well, is that oil... Um, things degrade, so there's corrosion inhibitors, and the way corrosion inhibitors basically behave is they themselves become part of the reaction. They either munch up all the free oxygen, or they help dissolve acids, or they help dissolve whatever is the nasty thing that's going to, you know, attack your components, and it basically gets in there in the first place. This is why um, corrosive inhibitors... Uh, in things like coolants, and we're not going to go into fucking heavens, like coolants, like oils and stuff, will only last so long because they are literally being, they're consumables, they are being used up in that reaction. Um, you know, these are not catalytic reactions, these are literally, they are be, they become part of the reaction. Um, 
and that's why they only last so long and that's why they need changing the title of the video is that you need to uh, no, no need to ever change your oil again which is absolute rubbish there's detergents in your engines there are anti-foaming agents there's all sorts in your in your engine oil that just help basically keep your engine in tip-top shape then all of that is also and everyone talks about detergents and additives there's one thing that people don't actually fucking talk about a lot of the time and that is what the oil actually does the oil is there to act as a barrier a liquid barrier between your two components that will wear against each other otherwise they are to basically be a liquid bearing that is what oil is it is a liquid bearing right it is a replaceable um cushion so you don't get metal to metal contact and all the rest of it so things don't just you know they reduce friction they do this that and the other um you know it's yeah it's like people bang on about oil and friction modifiers or friction reducers and stuff the force <laughs> that your clutch discs and your clutch plates are applied by via their springs there is unless you are going to start covering all your friction plates and discs in ptfe then no as some little shitty liquid that's going to deposit even like um, you know molybdenum disulfide and stuff there isn't enough in that oil to deposit on there to the point where your oil isn't fucking 50 percent a, a corrosion you know a friction inhibitor or something shit like that it's yeah it's just ridiculous people keep on saying stuff like that you can't use these we'll get into that but anyway um the fact the facts are that you um that the, the, it's a dribble off into this filter and like i said the guy is going on like oh well and he, he's been using it there's a, a follow-up video where he's been using it for so long six months or whatever and his brand new oil's black as fuck of course it is and he goes on about carbon is the biggest threat to your engine which is complete fucking rubbish carbon for all intents and purposes in your engine is inert it can dissolve and it can make acids in your oil but oils usually have inhibitors in there and you know basically um uh ph balancers that try and balance out some of these acids you know carbonic acid and stuff like that but not like i say i don't know anyone who's been running oil for fucking 10 years owned up their engine and the pistons are dissolved because again these acids that people keep on talking about you know does it increase where it might do over the life of an entire engine by a thousandth of a percent i tell you what's wearing out your engine wearing out your engine by having a shit oil that has literally been watered down with fucking blow by which has been pulverized it has been overheated it is fucked all the inhibitors have been used up you know it's just knackered it's just like anything it's fucked it's like tires it's like brake discs it just gets fucked over time um you know and that is the main point is that these things need these are consumables these need replacing this is why when you go to your local hardware store car depot whatever you want to call it you know your local bike shop what have they got on the shelves more than anything coolant oil coolant oil coolant oil cool oil a couple of brake pads and a couple of light bulbs this is what they have they have the things that you use on hand you go to it if you live in the uk you go to alfred's what do they have in alfred's batteries coolant oil spark plugs um bulbs and then a shitload ton of fucking cleaning products because they're just selling you a dream you know what i mean but that's pretty much it some windscreen wiper blades and that's about it you know what i mean oil is one of the main ones because it is a consumable it needs to be replaced you know what i mean uh, i don't you know and people people whinge and it does make me laugh people whinge about four stroke oils you know they say oh fucking oil it's not fucking 40 quid for two or five liters of it i'm like can you not remember ever having a two stroke it used to cost you a fucking fortune you know <laughs> you are pouring in oil every time you fucking you are literally burning it you know it's just like be, be thankful you know what i mean that you're not riding around on a thousand cc two stroke because that thing would be fucking chewing oil and your engine would probably still blow up you know it's but yeah this moron is going on about carbon being the killer of whatever you know it might react with stuff in your oil and all the rest and it. it's not a generally a good thing to do but like i said i'll tell you what is worse just piston slap uh the ring to cylinder contact stuff like that that's more wear 
you know that's where most of the wear comes from and all the rest in your engine you know if you have an engine that is 50,000 or 100,000 miles old I can guarantee you after 100,000 miles you'll need a rebore you'll need a fucking bigger piston and you'll need some new rings you know what I mean that is what you will need guaranteed the rest of it nah you probably have to replace this that and the other but you know what I mean I can guarantee you that if you've got an engine that's done 100,000 miles it's one of them fundamental flaws of a piston engine, which is what I was doing the fundamental flaws videos about. Piston slap is one of them. Rocking pistons is one of them problems. I'll leave you with the last video of this guy. The guy is a moron. He's just been sold down the river. And he keeps... I've asked him, you know, I've asked him some comments and stuff. I've asked him, can he send... You know, He said he was going to get the oil tested. Um, this company... Oh, that was a beautiful thing. I thought about it last night, about doing this video. So how does this come around, you know... People ask this all the time, how do these crazy bastards like the guys at Evans and like these guys who are making this Frank, Franks or whatever it's called, this fucking stupid filter, how do they come along? It's because some nugget is sat there on the farm one day going, do you know what, I pay for these filters and these filters are basically just paper filters, that's all they have. I've opened an oil pump filter, uh, you know, an oil filter before, it's just a paper element. You could just use fucking toilet roll, that's even finer mesh. So he's done that, he's taken out, you know, he's cut out the inside of one of these big canister filters, you know, like a, um, uh, a fucking, what do you call it now? Oh, yeah, a paper element oil filter. He's cut it all up, put some toilet roll in, and he's clamped it on because obviously he's lost the centre thread. And he's clamped it on, and he's started his engine up, and it's fucking blown his engine up because there's far too much back pressure. It's fucked the pump, and his engine's been oil starved and died. And he's gone, what a fucking dumb ass move that was. Because he didn't understand what he was playing with. And then he sat there and gone, ah, but there's something still in this. There's something niggling at me. I am a dumb ass, but surely this can't be a failed experiment. I need to make some money, you know what I mean? And then he's thought to himself, well, it would make an excellent filter. You know, he's probably got a, a vase and then put a filter in the top and then poured some oil and left it for a weekend and then come back. And then, you know, check the oil. And do you know what? It's worth doing that, actually. Fuck it, we're going to do that. I'm going to actually do that. That's a good idea. Um, and then he's checked the oil later on, and he's gone, yeah, that, that looks better than that one. It's not, but it, it, he thinks it is. You know, it's probably got the really horrible, thick, massive bits out. And he's like, this is an idea that people are going to love because you can just replace it at home with some toilet roll, and it makes sense. You know, it makes, it's common sense. It, it, it's... Yeah, it's, it's intuitive. So basically, then he's realised the reason why his engine died. So he's just put a tap off the main supply that can buy it. will bypass it most of the time. And then they just start putting the labels on these things, putting cans, sell you. Like the guy says, they sell you a cellulose, which is hilarious. A cellulose filter. Yeah, that is toilet roll. That's all it is. And... Um, yeah, it, the guy's just fucking awesome, and it just trying to sell you the same rubbish. And so many people, the comments, a lot of the comments are tell, telling him he's an idiot, but there are a lot of people who do get sucked in by this shit. They think that they're the one, they're special, they've found, yeah, you might, all you naysayers might say this, but there is, you know, there is method in the madness. My missus, a dad. Oh, aloe vera. He won't fucking toothpaste, sunscreen. She went to the dentist after using that toothpaste because she was been sold down the room by it. I told she was a fucking idiot. She went to the dentist and the dentist turned around to her and said, what toothpaste are you using? She said, aloe vera stuff. He goes, well, fucking stop. He goes, stop. Now, there are going to be people going, oh, no, the fluoride is killing us all. Fuck off. <laughs> My grandparents have been using fluoride toothpaste and they lived all the way up until their late 80s and they were fine. So fuck off, it's nonsense, right? Um, yeah, you know, he just told her to fucking stop. Stop doing that. He could tell, he could tell that she was brushing her teeth twice a day with this, flor and this aloe vera stuff and it wasn't fucking working. But there is always someone who will be sold down the river on this stuff. And I want to get in there quickly and nip these fuckers in the bud. You know what I mean? And like I say, we'll fucking test it. We'll get some, you know, we'll get some old oil. And he was banging on saying that the oil was cleaner after going through the engine and through this filter than it was when it was out of the ball. Clean of what? It's brand new oil. Clean of what? What could possibly, what are you testing for? It's just fucking rubbish. Hope that makes sense. Well, it's not going to make sense, is it? It's just fucking madness. And I'll see you in a bit.